charging him with uh, the offense of uh, witnessing and supporting the office of uh, Raila Odinga on the 30th of January as the President of the Republic of Kenya. He's also being accused of attending a public gathering that was not authorized. Of course, these charges are baseless. Meguna has been tortured and the state does not want him to come out and the public to see him the way he is. I want to just say this as the chairman of, national chairman of ODM, that if by three, as we have been told, that the judge is going to make a ruling, that Kenyans will not be able to see Miguna Miguna today, okay, our supporters across the country, tomorrow we should be on the streets. Yes, yeah. the High Court, and then you, you have a magistrate's court in Kajiado allegedly having seen Miguna this morning. Yesterday there was an order to present him at 2 o'clock, he wasn't presented. This morning at 9 o'clock, the IG um, and um, who else? IG and the... Who was the, They were supposed to be in court today. They were ordered to be in court today. And uh, basically they said they're in meetings. I mean, how can they say they're in meetings? How can meetings be more important? I think there's a lot of tension that is building up right now. And the only reason that we believe that he is not being presented, either something has happened to him or he's... He's in, a, in a, he's in a position where he's been tortured and they don't want to present him to the public, yeah, you know. So what the thing is, right now, this is the second day, 2 o'clock, 9 o'clock, we think that Miguna has been tortured, tortured by the state and the state is not willing to bring him here. Why take him to Kajado when we are here and the court has ordered? And then the, 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 the charge sheet that was presented to the court from Kajado uh, is defective. Um, apparently, national police uh, should have been the one bringing up the charges. It's being brought up by Kenya Police, which is a non-entity, non um, stamped in Nairobi, and it's a charge sheet for Kajiado. I hope that this court will uphold the rule of law, because, you know, when, when everything else caves in, when things fall apart, the center should hold, and the center now is the judiciary. This is their time to actually uphold the constitution of Kenya. The right to access to medical, if he is unwell and he needed to, to have his medical, uh, uh, his asthma pump, he should have been given. If he needed to be hospitalized, he should have been hospitalized. Access to your lawyer, that is mandatory. His lawyers have been denied access. And then I also want to, I want to, want, I'm questioning this idea of taking him to strange courts and then saying that, oh, we can't bring him up because there's a public out there. I mean, they never, they never have a problem with the public in terms of NASA being out anywhere. They tear gas us with everything they've got. So why can't they tear gas the people in the courts where they've taken Miguna and actually, I mean, so who's ruling? It's almost like there's those that can be tear gas and those that cannot be tear gas.